אה יו ולאד, יש מצב שאתה נותן לי משהו כזה? תעזוב אותי בשקט, אני לא ילמדתי. מה קרה? אף אחד לא צופה בשירטונים שלי וגם כשחם כן. הם מגלים את זהותי ההטנית ואני לא יכול להעמיד פנים שאני אמריקאי. אני לא יכול להתאבא יותר בישראלי כשאני בנצלי ישראלי. אוקיי, אוקיי, תפסיק, תרגע. זאת לא סיבה לבכות. זאת לא הסיבה היחידה. האוניברסיטה תוקעת אותי עוד הפעם עם משימות ודדליינים. אתה שקרן. אתה פשוט עצלן שלא רוצה להשקיע בשום דבר חוץ מכסף. תזיז כבר את התחת שלך, יא חמור. שלום אבריוואן, איץ ואץ בורום, ובלכם למי הלטסט פופ 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 וידאו, ואתמודי אני אגיד לעשות משהו שאני לא עושה כבר הרבה זמן, וזה יהיה מוכן לקנות מוכן 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 Six things, not five like usual, six things which I'm going to eat and drink today. Usually I start with something salty or with something neutral, and in this case it is something what so many people want me to taste, and it is Bamba! Those are basically peanut flips from Awesome as usual, like most of the things. I got that stuff from the duty free shop at the airport because I didn't have enough space in my kitchen. suitcase so forgive me for that but I know I it's more it's less expensive when you buy it in a city but I think one dollar ninety is also pretty okay so let's open this thing up they look like this and when I get a few of them in my hand they look like this so I think I'm going to get one and let's see how it tastes like. Mm. It tastes so much different from other flips I usually eat. For example, in my Serbian snack and candy challenge I made Smoky. And Smoky is the Serbian classic. You will find it everywhere. You will even find it here in Switzerland, no joke. And to be honest with you, Smoky is absolutely tasty. Well, this one is a little bit subpar, but I think for flips it's actually not bad. I know a few people who told me you need to eat Bamba with milk. But I'm not going to do that because I don't like milk at all, sorry. <laughs> But Bamba, mm, absolutely great stuff. Last time I had Beastly, and you know what Beastly is. Those are like snacks, like chips or something. But they're really, really hard and they have very distinctive flavors. And for this time I got those ones, Beastly Barbecue. Yeah, barbecue, I guess. Yeah, that's the way how it is written, like I eat. I'm really bad at reading Hebrew, like the thing is I know from the other stuff or from my friends how these things are called, but like for example, when I had once the grill Beastly, I thought that they were barbecue, but indeed they're not. So let's see how those are like. Mmm, the smell is already great. That's how they look like from the inside. Like little cute rolls. Mm. Oh yeah. I love the way how hard they are. Like I can eat two bags of Beastly and then I will be fine. But only one, like one of those, like how much is it? 190 grams. No, that doesn't satisfy me enough. Those are great. 
no question at all. We had Bamba, we had Beastly, but there's something what many people told me from Israel, Vlad, you really have to taste it, it's so goddamn tasty, you will not believe it. Bamba again, but this Bamba is with chocolate inside and I believe it's called Nougat. Yeah. Nougat. Yeah, Nougat. Yeah, the smell is diff definitely different from the regular Bamba. And you see... And you see here it is filled with chocolate. I want to see how it is like, but I believe it will be amazing. Mm. Oh yeah. My friends were so right. That stuff is legendary. Like my friends even told me that I should put Bamba Nougat in the freezer and eat them frozen. Maybe then they will be better. I've got a few packets of them left in my big bag, like I bought a few of them, like four I guess. But even in that form, fantastic, no joke. In the first video I had also something called Click, and I remember from it, it was uh, kind of okay, but very very expensive. However, in Israel I found Click as well, and you won't believe it, it's a lot lot cheaper and this one is like also some sort of chocolate balls I mean for six shekels you cannot make anything wrong with it But I want to see how they look like from the inside and how they taste Yeah, they look like little cute balls Taking two of them and I want to see how they taste I believe they'll be good I want to see how it looks from the inside when I eat it half. Mm. It's some sort of little biscuit inside. Reminds me of M&M's Crispy. Just that the taste is subpar. I don't know why, but the chocolate it tastes like it has more sugar and milk than chocolate inside. But I think it's not bad at all. Speaking of chocolate, I wanted to know also how Israeli chocolate is like and I got this one right here. Let's be honest with you, I don't know what it says, like I cannot read Hebrew properly, like only basic words and words I know and not at all Arabic. The only thing what they can read are numbers and maybe websites or something like that. This one looks like a a regular chocolate filled with a chocolate cream inside. It is also pretty cheap with five, do five shekels fifty. So I'm going to open it up. It looks like a big cow and like a few smaller cows. And for that, it is cheap. It has even this aluminium foil. Like when you eat Milka, you don't have it. You just open it. Uh, open up the plastic. Done. However. I want to get two pieces. It's already, it feels already as if it's melted. From the detail, it looks like this. It has this little noisette chocolate cream nougat filling, whatever it is. I don't know how it will taste like, but wish me good luck. It tastes significantly different from ta from chocolate I usually eat. It's not on the low level of Serbian chocolate, it's not on the high level of Swiss chocolate like, like Lindt, but in this around the level of Milka, like German chocolate, just that the branding is a little bit different. However, I think I like Milka more, but this is probably because I'm not a huge chocolate fan. For a chocolate it's surely good, like in this price range no question at all, but it's not my favorite or a chocolate I would pick by choice. I would definitely go for Hershey's or Milka or Lindt or any other. This one is like mm, subpar, something like that. 
maybe between Serbian and Milka chocolate, something like that. Now, before we finish, I got also something to drink. As you remember in the last vlog from Israel, vlog number 7, check it out up right here. I have to tell you that I got through the security check with a one liter bottle of water. But no, that's not what I'm going to drink today because water is water, okay? I found something else. It is something what is typically Israeli. Many people like to drink it together with Finlandia. It's blue. It's an energy drink. Many people say in Israel that Excel is the proper energy drink from Israel, but it's not. It's actually from Poland. And this one, I don't know from where it is, but I suppose it is Israeli. Now I got this one for $1.30. But I must say you can get it in other stores a lot cheaper, you can get it for less than 4 shekels for sure. Now let's remove this label and open it, open up the can. I must tell you that I stopped since the beginning of the year as a New Year's resolution with drinking energy drinks. But this is an exception, I bought it because like I don't know what kind of other drinks Israelis do drink which are distinctively Israeli, I think it will be worth trying it. I want to give you a quick sample how it looks like in a glass. It is like usual color from an energy drink and I'm going to try a little sip from there. So, Lechaim. Mm, I need to drink it from the can. Let's see how it is from there. It is a typical regular energy drink. Nothing much to say. Kind of sweet, but not too sweet and not too much of... Car uh, not too much carbon. I think it is a pretty good alternative to Red Bull or XL, that's for sure. Like, other people also prefer Monster or Rockstar Energy, but I think Blue is pretty decent, like, even from the size. That's actually one of the better energy drinks I've ever drank, so... No question though, Blue is good. So what is your opinion? What is your favorite from all those six things I've tried? Write it down in the comments below. My opinion, the best... Um, I must say it is a tie between... Beastly Barbecue and Bamba Nougat, like they're fantastic. I actually like this one more because it's saltier, it is more of a snack, while this one is, a, is sweet. It is great, of course, like I can eat also tons of that, but I like this one maybe a little bit more. I think, I hope that I can also eat like the other things, like I've got like four other cliques what I've bought and also some other Beastly's which I've already had, but I bought more of them because they got bigger bags and it will be really, really tasty when I have to eat them in the next few days. So, we've came to an end. That was it from my side. I hope that you really enjoyed the video. Leave me a like if you came until this point so far. Also, leave me a comment as feedback is always good. Also, make sure to subscribe me because you surely don't want to miss any of my future videos. Want to stay in touch with me? My Instagram and my Discord server are both linked into the description below. I like this t-shirt quite a lot, swipe up or link in bio, so if you have Instagram, please follow me there. I will be really, really glad if you could do so. Stay tuned and I hope to see you the next time. Bye-bye!